Hey y'all, I'm back with Grim Season 6, Episode 7. I'm so excited to watch this episode again. It's one of my all-time favorites. Hope you enjoy. I thought your tummy might hurt because Nick's not your boyfriend anymore. Aww. Yeah, I guess my tummy might hurt sometimes. A little bit. Do you want him back? That wouldn't be right. Things are really different now. Okay. They're so soft. I love them. Uh, it's Colombian. I don't need a valid relationship on the show at this point. Mauricio Chatao. <laughs> <Red. Yeah. laughs> Happy birthday. What is this? We're going for your birthday. We're going to the Columbia Gorge Hotel? Yep, for the whole weekend. Just the, the whole two weekend? of us? No, your parents are coming. What? I'm just kidding, but there is a guest list. Nick, Eve, Adeline, Hank, Wu, and us. Wow. <laughs> Remember what you saw in the tunnels? When Eve drew? Uh-huh. That's what I want you to keep just between us. So you don't want me to tell Daddy? I don't want you to tell anybody. Why not? Well, because we don't know what it means yet, and it could be dangerous. Mm -hmm. I'll be back as soon as I can. You look so comfy. Bye, Nick. Bye, Diana. <laughs> Have fun with your dad. I will. He's part of the family unit. Well, that mirror's not fastened to the wall very much. If it can move that quickly with 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 a, with a towel, I forgot what I was saying now. What? Don't touch it. He's freaking looking. Get Nick at the dramatic music. Nick! That was quick. What the hell was that? Uh -huh. It's almost as if it was a window. Yeah, but I was like in the loft. Fine. Uh, I'll be back early Sunday night to pick her up. What are you guys going to do? How many chocolate chip cookies do you want for breakfast, Dad? <laughs> Stay at this place. Hey. Uh, the vibes would have so made so fun. much better since it's all like a platonic polycule. That would have been Thanks so good. <laughs> Sir, I'm so glad you made it, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Aging and then Mom, it's me. I'm at work. Listen, you gotta get Dad to call me. Cause you're not gonna believe who's here. It's that son of a bitch, Burkhart. You're amazing. Damn, they actually do look really good. You're a really good artist, you know that? You mind if I take a picture of these? I guess. Okay. Don't do Sea Glauca Conica, or for those not versed in tree talk, Dwarf Alberta Spruce. Dense conifer used as an no, I get all that, but what you doing here? <laughs> Says, happy housewarming, Captain, from your friends at the precinct. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually thought about it. And then was like, wait, my daughter's crazy powerful, they'll be fine. Diana, you don't have Diana, Diana has you. It's Burkhart, the cop who took you down, he's here at the hotel. He didn't even know who I was. You alone? Okay. Your friends for a birthday. Gonna be here two nights. I'm gonna make him pay. You're gonna do what I think you're gonna do. Amor de infierno. We tear each other apart with their bare hands. Call me when Burkhart's dead. I'll call you when they're all dead. Mm -hmm. I need the hand for him. See him peeing on his own fence. Oh, my God. Are you barking? I still had a few bad habits. I thought that was very strange. I, I knew this guy has to be involved. Some way. And that's when I got a whip of you. That is when you jumped through the window. I had to make a point. By the way, did you ever pay for that window? <laughs> yes, I paid for that window. Why do I remember that? That's how Nick and my romance. Because none of us would be here if it wasn't for that broken window. Amen. Here, here. To that broken window. Your table is ready. Well, so the All thing right, is, if Nick didn't pay a bag for the window, he didn't pay him the $300 for um the dried human gallbladder. I don't know how much he actually owes him, because that's at least... Ugh, why is it always spit? Gross. It's very unsanitary. It's 
I do like the transition to using it though. That that's good. Thank you all for coming. I mean, it really it means so much to Rosalie and me that you're all here. So, thank. You. Jeez, really? Was it love at first sight? Hard to say. <laughs> no, it is not. She just didn't know it yet. But I remember exactly They're when so I fell. They're so cute. I'll tell you what. There is nothing quite so dazzling as a beautiful woman saving your life. That is a very good wine. Oh, no, thank you. I'm pregnant. Oh, well, shame to let it go to waste. Monroe, to a wonderful friend and a soon-to-be even better father. Happy birthday, man. A little girl again. Listen carefully. I was going to work out well for him with Diana. Look, there were things out of my control. I never threatened to arrest you. I was in your office. You said it to my face. No, no, look, I, w- I was not being myself back then. You're going to keep your end of the bargain, just like you promised. Now, are you sure you want to be doing this? I can't wait to see the chaos in two. Good morning, birthday boy. I want to know the date of Monroe's birthday. Do you think it was the air date of this uh, episode, or is it somewhere else? Are you okay? Yeah, sure, I think so. He had two. <laughs> you just fucking fall in love with himself. Absolutely iconic. Please, I want to go home now. She's gonna kill your ass. Anything that doesn't anything to them? No. She You're ain't gonna blink, my anymore. guy. I said please. Well, you can say please all you want. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Response. Morning. 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 It's not weird. Hope you're enjoying your stay. Oh. Wow. Oh, I like it. Well, it was like one pop. Wow. Eve? I mean, I'd fall in love with Eve if I saw her. Ooh, green eyes. I don't know if the colors mean anything, but they're neat. Oh. Did you see me oh, I love. Sorry, the glowing eyes yeah, on Nick. It's just, just it's so neat. Okay, I'll see you soon. I mean, it's neat on all of them, but like on Nick especially, amazing. I mean, also, like, I would also literally fall in love with Rosalie at first sight. So, you it's so iconic of him. I love him. Damn fine looking man. Ooh, wiggle. Looks not with the eyes, but with the heart. He's quoting Shakespeare. Lost to Cupid's mighty dart. That was very sweet. But I have to get all this food out there. She's handling this pretty well, though. Oh, Eve, there's something I've never told you. I admire you so much for everything you've been through. For losing Nick. For losing yourself. Are you all right? Ever since the first time I saw you. I knew you were special, and I knew we were meant to be. You're literally putting when everyone in the polycule and solve us, all of your problems. You There's never been anyone else for me. There never will be. No, because I think she would have believed that even without the love potion, honestly. Like, even unrequited. So we could also stop assaulting this man, please. It's not what it looks like. Okay, what is it? Love. Real love. Sorry. How dare you? <laughs> you stay away from me. I'm not laughing at this level, I'm just the absolute chaotic mess of this entire situation. It's so good! And if you Oh iconic, this is so fun. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! I really do find it so fun that they're like that, that um the fucking the spell cancels out because he drank both and then he just falls in love with himself. It's great. Oh my god. She's like, please go pick up Diana, I'm scared. I was joking, but terrifying child. 
Oh no. Sean's having the time of his life though. He's just been chilling out for a whole day with no kid. Please. Oh no. Listen to your heart. What are these Sir, woes outside? Really out of line. Oh, please, leave me alone. We never have to be alone again. Don't you see? I've been waiting for you my whole life. The only one I've ever loved is my cat. If you leave me, I'll kill myself. Oh no. Don't do that. That's putting her in the worst situation. Here. Putting him in the worst situation. Anyway, Arrow Ace Wu writes. That's all I'm saying. Do this. Excuse me, I don't. I you did with the champagne last night. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the award in Inferno. What do you know about that? We can stop now. Ha! <coughs> oh. <laughs> you leave him alone. All this slapping is so aggressive. The only part of this that's depressing is the woe stuff, because, like, uh, that that's not good for either of them. Oh my god, oh my god, what are you doing? Mr. Wu, stop! Mr. Wu, stop! Mr. Wu, stop! Oh my god, what are you doing? <sighs> Put her down! Why did God's name were you doing this? Your cop friend Burkhardt put my dad in prison. Have anyway, I ever seen how much I love Rosalie's wolf? It's so good, I love it. Oh, now you got two angry people on their hands. Oh, there he goes. Damn. Okay, so that one row had claws. Oh my god. What happened? I don't know. Why was I crying? <laughs> Why am I in my underwear? I love you. Only you. I know. It wasn't anyone's fault. It was the more fear. Daddy! Oh. Hey, honey. Oh. Aww. Did you have a good time with the lieutenant? I sure did. Can I stay a little longer? I think you've had enough fun for now. But we can have another play date sometime. wonder when Diana's gonna get Marl. Happy birthday, dear Monroe. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Woo! Who would like some champagne? On the house. God, I love that. That is so much. Like, that's peak episode. I've said this before. Maybe not on here. But it's always in its best when it's just for you. Crazy. Why do I like seasons two and three so much? Because everything is just getting untangled and it's a mess. And the drama is always like so good. It's top tier and I love it. So I have the feeling this is going to be the last time that they're going to be happy for a little bit and that scares me. Hope you all enjoyed. See you in the next one.